Yo, what is up? Um, what is up, guys? Rizal Dave Boy here, and I'm here to talk to you guys about depression. Um, and what women tend to do to hurt guys. So stay tuned with me. I'm gonna be doing all the Photoshop and everything, and explaining the uh, ways of why women do what they do to take advantage of guys, and why they like to hurt guys. Why they fall in love and then they end up cheating on you and doing other things to make guys commit suicide, to make guys feel like they're nobody, to put down their self-esteem. Pretty much just ruin their life. Um, I've been going through that lately with a certain somebody. That certain somebody knows who they are, but I've gotten to the point where I'm just not gonna take it on I'm, not I'm just gonna move on I'm not gonna let this person control me like a control airplane and you guys should never let a woman do that to you a woman loves you she loves you regardless of who you are no matter what it is no matter how the situation came about whatever she loves you she loves you um, it just takes time for a woman to realize what she's lost so I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks and what can really help the situation to make things better for you and your relationship and mainly just to get through your day. I'm 26 years old. I used to be a big time gamer. I used to play Ghost. I used to play Modern Warfare 2. I used to play Modern Warfare 3. Hell man, everybody loved what I used to do because I was the best at what I did. And... Uh, You know, some things happen in my life. Uh, I got depressed. I got with bad people. I got myself into trouble. And guys, trouble is not where somewhere you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You, you always want to look ahead. If somebody's bringing you down, I mean like down, like down, down, it's best to avoid that person or explain to them how you feel and what's hurting you. If someone's hurting you and they do it consecutively, they do it over and over and over and over again, they don't care about you. It could be an addiction. There's people out there with addictions like that. Can you help them? Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it just varies on that person. Um, we all need to be strong in ourselves. We all need to realize and understand and recognize what we're doing. So when I was involved with all the stuff I was involved with, I had the thought that no one cared about me. This image in the back of my head is like, do I deserve this? Why is this happening to me? Mommy, you know, like, I'm looking up at the sky, asking God, like, like, God, like, come on, like, why is this happening to me? Why is this, why am I getting hurt like this? Why are people using me? Why are people neglecting me? Why are people stealing things from me? Why are people taking what's precious and most important in my heart? I begin to realize it was the life that I chose. I wanted to be a rapper. Now, going on about that, being a rapper is very demanding. It's very negative. It's dangerous. And a lot of people can get hurt and killed near and close to you. You don't want that. Some people are rappers as Christians. Some people are rappers to do bad things. But these are all matters and situations that we put ourselves into that we don't know how we get in them until we realize what we want and what we don't. And that's what happened to me. Because I wanted to be a rapper so bad. So bad. I, I ended up ruining my life. I lost myself. I lost who I was. I didn't know who I was anymore. 
And, you know, it's things like this that we go through. Pain. Life is hard for all of us. It's hard in general. But guys, if you're not happy with what you do, don't do it. Do what makes you happy. If you feel that you're guilty of something and you're hurting, you feel that pain inside over and over and over, and you're doing this, you're cheating on this guy, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're saying you love somebody else, but you know you don't love that person, it's just a lie. That's how the devil gets in. That's what happens. You know, the lie, the lies accumulate until you become a pathological liar. These things that occur, the actions, everything, being involved, everything, it, it, it happens because you let it happen. So the best way to get past depression is to know and accept who you are. You know, like, let me get a little closer, sorry. Don't let people hurt you. Don't let people tell you what to do. Don't let people bring you down. You need to accept who you are. Because when you learn to love who you are and accept you for yourself, other people will accept you for you too. And that's a, that's a trial lesson that I still learn today. What I'm going through right now, trust me, it's not fun. When you have a girl that's cheating on you, trust me. It hurts, but I know what I have to do. I can't let that happen anymore. I have to take the next step. <laughs> Am I happy where I'm at? Hell yeah, of course I'm happy. I've came a long ways. And if you were to know about my story, trust me, you would know. But for you guys out there that's given up, that's, that, that's, that's telling yourself you can't do it. That's telling yourself that you don't believe in yourself. That's saying, I won't be nobody. I'm never going to succeed my dream. I've learned something, guys. And through all my years of being on this earth, I've come to understand something. Accept you for who you are. Do what you love. If you love doing it, then do it. If you don't love doing it, don't do it. Because in the end, it's just gonna make you go down. Down a deeper road. You do what you love. If you want to be somebody big, like me, I'm getting there. But if you want to be somebody big, and you want to go toward that dream, you always could go toward that dream. You always could say, I can do this. I believe in myself. But in the end, that's just your mind talking. It's not your heart. It's not who you are deep inside. It's not you as yourself as a person. It's not your it's not the true you. So what you have to do is realize don't focus so much on the dream. Focus on you. Have fun with it. Cuz when you learn to have fun with something you end up being a professional at it later. Don't think about it. If you want to succeed, you want to do anything, it's best not to try to fight so hard to get it. You can fight hard to get it, but don't, like, overdo it. You got to understand and realize, I am this person, and people will love me for who I am. 
trust me, this will change your life forever. A lot of people thought I was going to end up dead, which I pretty much was in my own hospital bed. I was. I was in crutches, had a broken foot. I couldn't walk for six months. <laughs> I didn't have a job. I didn't have friends. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have none of that. But I was a soldier. I was strong. And no matter what happened, I loved myself. And as long as you love yourself, that right woman will come for you. Because she will see it. But don't let no woman put you down. Don't let no woman cheat on you. And have blink with this guy. And do this with this other guy. And then say she wants to do this. Say she wants to do that. Nah, man. If there's a woman doing that to you, she's wrong. I'm sorry. She's completely wrong. And she messed up. She needs help. She needs to get help. She needs to get counseling. She needs to fix her addiction on cheating. <sighs> so, tip one, depression. Don't let people tell you how to live your life. Never let somebody tell you how to live your own life. You can listen to their advice if they have it for you. But don't let somebody control you. That's the worst. Controlling leads to neglection, to, to depression, and it can it can get far worse than that. I'm telling you guys, if there's one thing I've learned in this world, one thing at all, you can't trust anybody in this world. Not unless you trust yourself. Because when you trust yourself, other people can trust you too. If you love somebody, then they'll love you back. They won't cheat on you. They won't lie to you. They won't hurt you. They won't go behind your back and Skype some other guy that they say they that they want to be with. And then turn around and try to come back to you. They won't do it. They will not do it. That's the first step. Second step, have fun. Put down, um, take like a journal or take something you love to do and do that activity every single day. Make sure you love it though. Find out what you really love. Sometimes we say we love things and we really don't love them. And when we think we love them, it makes us depressed. Because when you keep doing something that you think you love, but you know you don't love it, you hurt yourself more. And I found that out the hard way. Being a rapper, I really thought I loved that. I really thought that it was what I really wanted. But being a rapper ruined my life. It got me into trouble. It got me involved with wrong people, bad people, people using me, hurting me, lying to me, and doing God knows what. And now to this day, when I don't think of rapping, I don't get depressed anymore. Rapping was like a hobby for me. I was so good at it. But I could never join such an evil industry like it is today. We all need choice. We all have choices for ourselves. And that choice is whether you live to breathe the next day or you live to just throw your life away and give up. You're not going to give up, are you? Nah. God gave us strength. God God gave us power inside ourselves. You got to respect yourself. So do that. Take a journal and write down what you love the most and do it every day. And I'm beginning to find out what I love. I'm really beginning to understand what I love the most. And what I love is not rapping. It's not. It's not uh, art. And most importantly. It's not. Doing gymnastics or any of that. It's. 
kind of hard to explain what I love the most, but I love piano. I do. When I'm playing piano and reading music and getting my head off everything, I, I'm clear. I'm focused. I'm happy. It's, it's, I love it. I used to be a pianist a long time ago. But I stopped. Why did I stop? Because the devil got me caught. He brought me away from my dream. He brought me away from what I love the most. Until one day I saw the truth. I saw what I had to do. And I realized. I knew from that day on. I knew from that point what I had to do. Sometimes guys, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes that hurts the most, but when you end up doing it, you'll feel better. And I'm at that point right now with this girl. She knows what she's doing is wrong. She continues to do it over and over and over and over again. She bought me this shirt. And what does this say? World's greatest girlfriend. She bought me candy. She bought me a promise ring. Hell, man, she bought me a wallet. She got me cars. This is she loves me. She got me. You know, I, she got me another shirt. She wants to go shopping for me. She wants to do all these things for me. But I ask myself, if she loves me so much, why does she continue to cheat? Why does she continue to do these things? And what what is the point of it? You see, these are all things that we see in our life. But we need to realize what it is we want. So that's step two. Step three. This is probably one of the toughest and the hardest things to do. When you're depressed. Sometimes guys. When you're depressed. Also. You got to take time away from a lot of people. And just focus on yourself. To get away from everybody. I mean everything. You need to take time to yourself and meditate. And get intact with yourself. You gotta get. You, you gotta get situated with you. And you gotta. You gotta think of you as a value of a flower. You gotta think of you as a value of a diamond. You gotta think of you as if you're royalty and don't let people take advantage of that you have to think of you as a gift when people see you you are a gift to them if they talk to you that's a gift if they message you that's a gift and most importantly if they become your girlfriend that's a big gift but never give your heart away to any girl now unless you know for a fact you've been with her for a couple of years and you know she's never cheated on me and she really loves you. I can't say my girl does not love me. Because that is not true. She does. But she continues to make the same trial and error in cheating. It's an addiction to hers. It's an addiction of her. And how do I get her to stop? 
by not talking to her, by not responding to her, to let her have the time for her to see for herself what it's like without me. She needs to realize who she's losing. She needs to realize all these times she's sitting there doing all these bad things that it's not okay for her to cheat on me. It's not okay for anyone to cheat on any guy. They need to respect you as a gift. And these are the number one things we must understand. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna cut this off here. I'm gonna end this here in a little bit. So those are the three key things you must understand to get past depression. And I promise you, mark my words, you will thank me a, hundred, a, mil a million days later. You will thank me so much. You will thank me so much. You really will. You will say thank you. You do these things, your depression will leave. And you'll be with the most spectacular girl you ever laid your first eyes on. You'll be with a girl to treat you right. You'll be with a girl to bring you flowers. You'll be with a girl that loves you for you. And you'll be with a girl that won't lie to you and cheat on you and with another guy. Say she keeps loving you, but she doesn't. And she's going to another guy and doing this and doing that. Trust me on this. You'll be with a girl that cares and loves you for who you are. And most importantly, you'll be happy every day. If you do these three steps, I'm telling you, I'm overcoming my pain. Am I happy? Yes, I am happy. Am I happy what my girl is doing to me? No, I'm not happy. Because she's wrong. And she needs to know she's wrong. She knows it. She ain't dumb. She knows what she's doing is wrong. She knows she shouldn't be talking to other guys saying she loves him. Come back saying she loves me and doing this and doing that. No. Uh -huh. That's how I kick her to the curve and, and say I'm walking away. No. Get out of my life. I don't want to be I don't want to be nothing with you. We're not in a relationship anymore. Break up. Bye. Gone. Walk away. You're on your own. Then she try calling me back later? Uh-uh. No. It ain't gonna work. You're not gonna sit here and keep hurting me and doing this. That's where I'm getting to. But she doesn't stop what she's doing. Sometimes, guys, that's what you gotta do. You gotta take a stand for yourself. Remember, don't let no woman take control of you. Don't let no woman manipulate you. Don't let no woman hurt you. No matter how beautiful they are, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, don't let a woman cheat on you. Because cheating will lead to suicide. We had two suicides over here next door. These people killed themselves. I witnessed it with my own eyes because of a relationship. Relationships are the number one killers when it comes to sex or anything like that. We need to recognize and realize what we're really doing to ourselves. You have to understand what it is you're doing. And I'm not talking about us as guys. I'm talking about you women out there that want to take advantage of guys and cheat on guys and lie to guys and hurt guys and play these games. Listen, these games are not a joke. You'll end up in jail. You'll end up hurt. And not only will you end up hurt, you'll end up losing your number. You'll end up losing your boyfriend that you love the most. And you'll, you'll be the one that's going to be getting in trouble. Because you're going to be the one trying to chase after the guy and the guy ain't going to want you back. And you're going to be the one killing yourselves. So you think about that. You think about all the times you're cheating and doing all these things and you know who you are out there. You think about what you're doing. Because I don't know what else I can say to get through to any woman out there that knows cheating is wrong. That's not the game. Forget the games. It's time to respect one another. It's time to show real love toward one another. No matter what happens, you can see that person or can't. You stay strong with each other. And you hold on. And don't let go. Because if you really love somebody, you won't cheat on them. You'll stop. You'll make a change. 
You'll do things different. So guys, that's what I have to say to you guys for depression. Uh, stay tuned. Feel free to subscribe, like my video if this really helps you. Guys, have any questions, any concerns on this topic here about depression and how to get through suicide and how to get through not losing your mind, talk to me. I'm Rides All Day Boy, not Chris Stages, but I'm Rides All Day Boy. I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you all. And I hope that this, this is a lesson. I hope this is a lesson for you. I got to go do something. I got to go take action right now. And this is it. I got to do what I got to do right now. So till then, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Rods all day, boy. I'm out. Peace. Yo, what is up? Um, what is up, guys? Rods all day, boy here. And I'm here to talk to you guys about depression. Um, what women tend to do to hurt guys so stay tuned with me I'm going to be doing all the photoshop and everything and explaining uh, ways of why women do what they do to take advantage of guys and why they like to hurt guys why they fall in love and then they end up cheating for that exciting awesome nuclear be sure to click on the left for the next video coming up and please subscribe like Comment, I'm out, Rods all day, boy.